Title Whispers of the Abyss The sun hung low in the sky, casting long golden rays that filtered through the creaking floorboards of the mystery shack. The air was thick with the scent of old wood and forgotten secrets, as dipper and mabel pines sifted through the relics and oddities that filled the dimly lit corners. In a shadowed corner, obscured by layers of dusty memories, lay a pocket watch. Its presence was palpable, emanating a subtle hum that seemed to resonate with an offworldly energy. Dipper's inquisitive eyes locked onto the glint of its gears, and he reached out with trembling fingers. Mabel, you've got to see this. Dipper called, his voice a mix of intrigue and trepidation. Mabel, always drawn to the promise of adventure, practically skipped over, her eyes wide with curiosity. What have we got, Dip in source? The watch lay before them, a puzzle waiting to be unraveled. Its face bore cryptic symbols that seemed to shimmer with an ethereal light, beckoning them closer. Whoa, it's like a relic from a steampunk fantasy. Mabel exclaimed, her fingers itching to touch it. Dipper hesitated, a strange sense of foreboding tingling in his spine. Mabel, I'm not sure about this. It feels important, but also dangerous. Mabel's adventurous spirit, however, couldn't be dampened. Come on, Dipper. When have we ever shied away from a mystery? With a cautious nod, Dipper gingerly picked up the watch, feeling a cool, eerie energy emanate from it. As he turned it over in his hands, a low, haunting hum seemed to resonate through the shack. In a blinding flash of light, reality seemed to twist and warp around them. When the brilliance finally subsided, the twins stood in a dark and twisted version of Gravity Falls. The once lively town was now cloaked in an oppressive gloom. Trees stood twisted and gnarled, and the townsfolk, once warm and welcoming, now wore expressions of deep sorrow and despair. Dipper, what's happened to our town? Mabel's voice quivered, her eyes wide with shock. I think, I think this is an alternate dimension, Mabel, Dipper replied, his voice tinged with disbelief. And I have a feeling the watch is what brought us here. Their footsteps echoed through the desolate streets as they cautiously explored this nightmarish version of their beloved town. Shadowy figures seemed to lurk just beyond their vision, and the air was thick with an unsettling stillness. Whispers of the abyss seemed to fill the air, carrying the echoes of forgotten sorrows. The weight of their situation pressed on them, the gravity of it all bearing down. As they delved deeper into this twisted realm, the twins could feel the presence of something ancient and malevolent. It sought to ensnare them, to feed on their fear and uncertainty. Yet, with each step, their resolve grew stronger. The watch, now their only link to their world, pulsed with an eerie energy. They knew they had to find a way back. Together, Dipper and Mabel faced unimaginable horrors and heart-wrenching trials. They clung to the hope that they could return home, pushing through the darkness that threatened to consume them. In the twisted shadows of the alternate gravity falls, a malevolent presence loomed, its influence stretching across the desolate town like tendrils of darkness. It was a force that seemed to have been born from the deepest fears and regrets of the inhabitants, a manifestation of their collective despair. This entity, known only as the Abyssal Warden, was an ancient being, forgotten by time, yet eternally bound to the alternate dimension. It thrived on the suffering of those trapped within its grasp, feeding off their fear and sorrow to sustain its unnatural existence. The Abyssal Warden took on a form that mirrored the twisted nature of its realm, its body seemed to be composed of shifting shadows, with eyes that gleamed like malevolent stars in the night sky. Its presence was suffocating, as if the very air around it was tainted with its malevolence. The Warden's influence extended beyond mere physical presence. It had the power to manipulate the environment, twisting reality itself to create nightmarish landscapes, and conjure phantoms born from the deepest recesses of the townsfolk's minds. The trees, once proud and majestic, now contorted into grotesque shapes, their branches reaching out like skeletal fingers. It whispered insidious thoughts into the minds of those unfortunate enough to cross its path, exploiting their deepest fears and insecurities. These whispers were like venom, seeping into the souls of its victims, eroding their sanity and driving them further into despair. As Dipper and Mabel navigated this nightmarish realm, they could feel the suffocating presence of the Abyssal Warden, a constant reminder of the peril they faced. 
It seemed to watch their every move, its eyes gleaming with a malevolent intelligence that sent shivers down their spines. The twins knew that to escape this dark dimension, they would have to confront the warden, and find a way to sever its hold on the town and its inhabitants. The task was daunting, and the odds seemed insurmountable, but they pressed on, driven by their determination to return home. With each encounter, the warden's power seemed to grow stronger, its influence spreading like a stain across the land. It threw increasingly nightmarish challenges their way, testing the limits of their courage and resolve. But Dipper and Mabel were not without their own strengths. They drew upon their bond as siblings, their unwavering trust in one another, serving as a beacon of light in the suffocating darkness. Through their combined efforts and a steadfast refusal to succumb to the Warden's malevolence, they began to chip away at its power. In the climactic showdown, with the fate of both dimensions hanging in the balance, Dipper and Mabel confronted the Abyssal Warden. They faced their deepest fears, standing tall against the onslaught of its dark magic. With a final desperate surge of determination, they unleashed the full force of their willpower, severing the Warden's connection to the alternate dimension. The entity let out a wailing cry of rage and despair, its form dissolving into nothingness. As the Warden faded away, the twisted version of Gravity Falls began to crumble, reality itself unraveling. The town seemed to breathe a sigh of relief as the oppressive gloom lifted, replaced by the warm light of the setting sun. Dipper and Mabel, weary but victorious, stood amidst the fading echoes of the alternate dimension. They knew that they had faced true darkness and emerged stronger for it. With a final grateful glance at one another, they activated the watch one last time, returning to the safety of their own reality.